The consumption of alcohol while taking drugs can a decrease the effects of the drugs and alcohol. B. Increase the effects of both the drugs and alcohol. C. Help cure your illness. D. Improve your driving ability. In traffic moving at 50 to 55 miles per hour, you are least likely to have an accident if you A. Drive a few miles per hour faster than most other vehicles. B. Stay within that speed range. C. Drive a few miles per hour slower than most other vehicles. B. Stay within that speed range. You should adjust your speed to travel smoothly with the other traffic on a roadway, provided that the other traffic is driving within the posted speed limits. Remember that vehicles moving in the same direction at the same speed cannot hit each other. Crashes involving multiple vehicles often happen when some vehicles are traveling at different speeds than others. When driving in fog or mist, never put your headlights on the high beam setting because A. The light will reflect back into your eyes. B. Approaching vehicles might not see you. C. Vehicles behind you may follow too closely. A. The light will reflect back into your eyes. In foggy or misty conditions, you should not use your headlights on their high beam setting because the light will be reflected back into your eyes. Drivers who refuse to submit to chemical testing when requested to do so by an officer will lose their license for A. 30 days b. 90 days. c. 1 year. c. 1 year. Nebraska has an implied consent law. This means that by driving in the state, you have agreed to undergo a chemical test if asked to do so by a law enforcement officer. If you refuse to submit to such a test, your license can be administratively revoked for one year. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. When approaching a person who is crossing the street while using a white cane or guide dog, you should A. Stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. B. Honk your horn as you proceed past them. C. Carefully drive around them. A. Stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. When approaching a pedestrian who is using a white cane or guide dog while crossing the street, you must stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. Always yield the right of way to blind pedestrians. What is the penalty for fleeing to avoid arrest? A. The driver can be charged with a misdemeanor or felony offense. B. The driver could have their operator's license revoked. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. Fleeing from a law enforcement officer to avoid arrest or citation for a misdemeanor or ordinance violation is itself a misdemeanor. Fleeing from a law enforcement officer to avoid arrest or citation for a felony is itself a felony. In either case, the driver's license may be revoked. When you see an emergency vehicle approaching while using its flashing lights, you must A. Maintain your speed and stay in your lane until the vehicle has passed. B. Move into the right lane and drive slowly until the vehicle has passed. C. Pull over to the curb or edge of the road and stop until the vehicle has passed. C. Pull over to the curb or edge of the road and stop until the vehicle has passed. If you see an emergency vehicle approaching while using its flashing lights, pull over to the right edge of the road and stop. Position yourself parallel to the curb. On one-way streets, 
Drive toward the road edge nearest you. A driver should A. Stare directly in front of their car. B. Only focus on the middle of the road. C. Watch beside, ahead, and to the rear of their car. C. Watch beside, ahead, and to the rear of their car. A driver should watch beside, ahead, and to the rear of their car. To be a good driver, you must know what is happening all around your vehicle. When driving at night, using only your parking lights is unlawful. A. True. B. False. A. True. It is unlawful to drive at night using only your parking lights. Drivers are required to use their headlights when driving in the dark. When driving on wet pavement, it's important to remember. A. That pavement is especially slippery right after it starts to rain. B. That wet roads can cause hydroplaning. C. To give yourself additional space when coming to a stop. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Wet roadway surfaces can be dangerously slick, especially immediately following a rainfall. When you are driving on wet roads, your vehicle is traveling on a thin layer of oil, dirt, and water. Slow down when there is heavy rain, standing water, or slush on the road to reduce the risk of your wheels losing traction on the slick surface. At a red traffic light with a green arrow, you may proceed in the direction of the arrow if A. You first come to a complete stop. B. You wait until the light changes. C. You are in the proper lane and the roadway is clear. C. You are in the proper lane and the roadway is clear. If you are in a lane corresponding to a signal displaying a green arrow, you may proceed in the direction of the arrow when the way is clear. This is true whether the arrow is displayed alone or together with another signal. When double solid yellow lines separate lanes of traffic. A. Passing is permitted from the left. B. Passing is permitted from the right. C. Passing is not permitted from either direction. C. Passing is not permitted from either direction. Yellow lines separating lanes of traffic indicate that traffic is moving in opposite directions. Double solid lines indicate that passing is not permitted from either direction. What can you do to avoid the need to make emergency stops while driving in traffic? A. Honk your horn to make others aware of your presence. B. Look ahead and maintain a safe following distance. C. Drive in the right lane only. D. Drive more slowly than the flow of traffic. B. Look ahead and maintain a safe following distance. Keeping a safe following distance will enable you to react to an upcoming problem without the need for an emergency stop which could cause a driver behind you to crash into the back of your vehicle. Which of the following is true regarding funeral procession escort vehicles? A. They are classified as emergency vehicles. B. They are not considered emergency vehicles. C. They are considered emergency vehicles only when escorted by a police vehicle. A. They are classified as emergency vehicles. Funeral procession escort vehicles are classified as emergency vehicles. Drivers are required to yield to funeral escort vehicles which are displaying proper audio or visual signals. Before you enter an intersection, you should look to your A. 
left, your right, then your left again. B. Right. C. Left. A. Left, your right, then your left again. Before you enter an intersection, look to both the left and right for approaching vehicles or crossing pedestrians. Look to your left a second time, as vehicle approaching from your left will be closer than those approaching from your right. Look across the intersection before you start to move to make sure the path is clear all the way through. No passing zone, signs tell drivers. A. To speed up slightly. B. That it is not safe to pass. C. To maintain a steady speed. B. That it is not safe to pass. If you come across a, no passing zone, sign, it is not legal to pass in the indicated area. You are likely driving in an area with restricted visibility where it would be unsafe to pass another vehicle. Certain highway signs require drivers to obey an indicated instruction. Such signs are known as A. Regulatory signs b warning signs c information signs d guide signs never drive a vehicle through around or under any railroad gate or barrier a true b false a true never drive through around or under gates or barriers at a railroad crossing it is illegal and very dangerous. This road sign means A. Bicycle crossing B. Stop only if other cars are approaching C. Bicycle store D. Soft shoulders A. Bicycle crossing this sign, with the arrow below, indicates the location of a bicycle crossing path. Drive with caution around this sign because bicycles likely regularly cross or ride beside traffic in the area. To know where traffic is behind you? A. Frequently check your rear view mirror. B. Turn and look out your back window. C. Keep other vehicles out of your blind spots. A. Frequently check your rear view mirror. Drivers should check their rear view mirrors often to stay aware of the position of traffic behind them. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in a business district is A. 20 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 30 miles per hour. You may continue carefully through an intersection with a yellow light if A. There is an emergency vehicle crossing your lane. B. There are pedestrians crossing. C. You are turning right. D. You are already within the intersection when the light changes to yellow. D. You are already within the intersection when the light changes to yellow. If a steady yellow light appears when you are already within an intersection, you should continue through the intersection carefully. Rumble strips are present to A. Warn drowsy or inattentive drivers that they are leaving the road. B. Indicate that a stop is ahead. C. Help slow a vehicle that is experiencing brake failure. A. Warn drowsy or inattentive drivers that they are leaving the road. Shoulder rumble strips are a series of indented or raised elements installed on a paved roadway near the travel lane. The purpose of a rumble strip is to create noise and vibrations to alert an inattentive driver to the fact that they have left the travel lane. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. 
Traffic signal ahead. C. Railroad ahead. A. No U-turn. This sign indicates that U-turns are prohibited. It is legal to make a left turn at a red traffic light after stopping only if A. You are traveling on a two-way street and turning onto a two-way street. B. You are traveling on a one-way street and turning onto another one-way street. C. You yield to all other traffic at the intersection. B. You are traveling on a one-way street and turning onto another one-way street. After coming to a complete stop, you may turn left at a red light only if you are traveling on a one-way street and turning onto another one-way street. Only make the turn if there are no posted signs prohibiting such a turn. <laughs>